Hey guys, happy Pontus Day. This is the Prince of Macedon, and in honor of Pontus being announced as the, uh, the next playable faction for Rome 2 as a uh, free DLC, I'm going to use Pontus in a free-for-all. It's a six-player free-for-all video. Squid resolution on the uh, Germanic Forest map, 10,000 denarii, normal scale. And here's my army. We'll look at my army real quick. My name's Poison King in honor of one of Pontus' most uh, legendary commanders who fought Rome for the longest time. That's my army. Let's go look at the Seleucid army of... Actually, let's go look at the uh, Macedonian army here. Macedon's equally as far from me as he is from the rebels. The only difference is I'm engaged with somebody, the rebels are not. So this guy is avoiding his natural opponent, which is fine. But I'm gonna deny him kills later on. So this is uh, Suwaman Sur Rutinus' army. Big infantry force, backed up with some light lancers, heavily upgraded though. That's his army. This is a rebel army that is also not engaged, but instead of fighting each other, they're gonna go for the people who are already engaged in a, in a fight. This guy is pretty new, you can tell by his army, because I said CWB rules, yet he made this ridiculously uh, CWB breaking army here. It's cool though seeing these, uh, this multitude of units. But it looks like he just went to Walmart and bought whatever was on sale. That's his army. That's Xeno459. Here we have the uh, Germania and the Scipia. They're about to fight. Germania is commanded by Julio Cesar. A lot of axes. Some berserkers. You guys are getting shot. Here's the, uh, the, the Scipia army of the soldier. Pretty lean looking army. It's going to be easy to, uh, it's gonna be easy to outflank it though. That's his army. Finally, here's the Seleucid army of Lord Drillin. That's a funny name. Are you Jelen? Yes, like Lord Drillin. So it's a very big army, but there's no upgrades on it. But anyways, I decided to go for his archers in order to bait his cataphracts away from his infantry force. So now I'm going to engage his cataphracts in an isolated fashion here. He has the, uh, the mace attack, but I have the upgrades. So my non-mace Cappadocians could take out his cataphracts if used properly. And I can outflank with my Pontic Heavy Cav. And just like that, his cataphracts go bye-bye. And these silver shields are pretty good, but since they're not upgraded, and since my bronze shields are, my guys can take him out in a, uh, in a stand-up fight, but I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to send in my my Cappadocians who just won their battle to help expedite the process of killing this guy's phalanx troops. And meanwhile, you can see Macedon is marching towards me from behind because he did not want to fight the rebels, the rebels who were also not engaged. Well, at the very beginning, we were equally far from each other. See, they're not engaged with anybody. But these guys are now going to opt for the uh, for the people who are already engaged so they can get easier kills. That's their strategy anyways. We'll see if it works. Here's Germania and the Scipii fight. If I was Germania, I would have outflanked this Roman army. It would have been easy to because they were so small. Heavily upgraded, yes. But small, also yes. Anyhow, let me show what's going on with my fight with the Seleucids here. I took out this first line of uh, Silver Shields. Now I'm working my way around, taking out archers where I can and peasants and peltists. Because this is scored resolution, you get points for killing troops. Not for being the last man standing here. So this guy got really confused when my, my Cav was going for his archers, so that let me split up his uh, phalanx army. Sorry, my friend is messaging me. Anyhow, yeah, I'm, I'm getting some nice kills here. Taking out these, these straggling units. This guy really let himself get separated. 
you really needed to fight as one. Enemy general shows his value. He is so, uh, by desire to Lord Drillin's pretty much dead here. And this guy the enemy general was a fool. He is moving forward, than going for the easy kill. So let's go show what's going on over here. Defeat. The rebels are moving in. They intervened in the Scipii Germania fight. I mean, that is that is a valid tactic. It's just not a very... I don't know how you would say it. I mean, he could have engaged the Macedonians, who are also not engaged. But yeah, they went for the... Uh, the quote unquote easy kills. So here's a Huliar Cesar's Germanic army. And here is the Roman army of the soldier. They kind of stopped their conflict when the rebels intervened here. Look at this massive rebel army. And what is he going to do? Is he going to try to outflank this Roman army? No, he's going to go right for a frontal charge. Huh. It's not the prettiest thing to watch. So everyone's now engaged except for the Macedonians. But you can see in the background, I'm cleaning up the Seleucid troops. And Macedon's moving forward to go for me as I'm weakened against the Seleucids. I want to show this fight though. You know, with a bit of like outflanking movements, this rebel army could have easily taken out this Roman army without many casualties. Anyways, the uh, Germanic army is going into the uh, forest here. I guess they're more at home here. And it uh, looks like they were chasing these uh, Numidian the gods, cab units. The they were trying to anyways. A fool. He sacrificed himself rather than leading his men to a dignified defeat. So, here's that situation. Yeah, this frontal charge is still frontally charging here. And it's still... A uh, clumsy move here by the rebels. Look at all those horses they lost. Look at that. That is ridiculous. I mean, yeah, he eventually plows through the Romans just because, on virtue of him fighting the German, the Germanic army already. That's how he was able to overpower them the with their frontal charge. Flee. Chase them from the field and give them no rest or pity. Yay! Good job, guys! So, Scipii is dead, Seleucids are dead, and the Germanic army is, for the most part, dead. There's still some Germanic troops in the forest here. Here we got some of these guys trying to get away. Those are chosen axemen. And... That guy wants to not fight anybody, but go for somebody who's engaged, so I'm just going to uh, walk away. That is also a viable tactic. This guy later claimed that it was my fault for not fighting him. For why this guy didn't fight yet. When he could have easily fought the rebels at the beginning instead of going all the way to, for me. That's fine though, it is a viable tactic. But again, my strategy is also a viable tactic. So I'm going to lead this guy into the forest because I know with his kind of um, indecisiveness, he's going to be too timid to attack me in the forest because people have this psychological hang-up about fighting in the forest. Even though, in this game, it's it's still equally hard for both for both players to fight in the forest. This isn't real life, guys. But yeah, I could tell by the way he was moving his troops that I could beat him psychologically. But his army is untouched. And rebels are cleaning up the uh, Germanic troops over here. And this is pretty much the end of uh, Julio Cesar's army. Here's the rebel general right there. That's a pretty cool looking uh, general skin, by the way. Just want to put it out there. This guy's wasting his, his arrows. 
on units that are routing. Enemy cowards, run! Here's some random Drive Eastern infantry. From the battlefield. Yeah, so this is me. I'm gonna take this guy into the forest. So my new strategy is to let that guy fight the rebels. So let me fast forward this a little bit. So my guy's gonna go to the forest. And as predicted, he's not gonna follow me. So I'm gonna do a little time elapse here and cut out this part where we're just waiting. Whoops. So that's where his army is now. We're just gonna use the, the creeper camera. Anyways, this is the new situation. He did not want he did not want to go into the forest. Even though my army is half depleted. See this? Look at my army. The Cappadocians are really wrecked. That one's pretty healthy. Um yeah, my pikes, I mean, even though we slaughtered the Seleucids, I still took a beating. And, uh, here's the Macedonian army. He's still hesitant, even fighting against the rebels. Let's use the fast forward motion on this one. Alright, so, this guy finally moves up a little bit. He's gonna put his peasants in forward. And these peasants will get shot up by these uh, Bedouin horse archers right here. These guys. Oh, sorry. Camel archers. There's some really committed camels coming all the way to Germania to fight against Macedonian peasants here. Kind of a waste of ammunition. See that? See how far those peasants are from his army? He could have just charged these peasants. Instead, he's wasting his arrows on them. So anyways, those guys retreat. They get away. He could have had more kills if you just charge into them. So now the Macedonian army is coming forward here. See, my strategy now is to let the rebels fight, and then I could take the Macedonians from behind. Since, since me and the rebels are both weakened, that's a very good strategy, I think. Unfortunately, we're going to see what the rebel player is up to. Remember his first strategy of just charging frontally into the Romans? Well, check out this. This repeat of mayhem here. Do you think this guy learned his lesson about frontal charges? Let's see. Macedon puts its pikes down. And I'm coming out of the forest right now. See that? I'm running. I want to help this rebel player out. But look at that! Frontal charge! Boom! I mean, seriously? So I'm too far to even help out, see that? I know Mastodon's gonna be preoccupied chasing down these these uh, horses and camels that I'm gonna try to take out some archers. I can't hopefully like beat this army anymore since the rebel player screwed up so, so badly. So I'm just gonna play for kills here. I can't beat the last man standing anymore. So I'm gonna go for archers where I can. Unfortunately, this game was lagging quite a bit, so I can't even pull my guys out when I want to. I didn't really want to do that, but my guys are still stuck in there regardless. See, right here, I was telling them to get out for the longest time, but they would not get out, so they broke. Whatever. But yeah, as predicted, this guy's uh, lances were preoccupied chasing down these routing units because he has no kills. See right there too. Uh, do you really think I meant to do that? Nope. Anyways, I am going for a uh, kill though. And my units will stop routing. See in the background, they'll stop routing. My my cav units. So I'm taking down archers where I can. Here comes his lancers. So I see his lancers coming at me. So I'm gonna take his lancers closer to my archers, so that my archers can uh, can pick them apart. See this? Here's my archers. 
and I'm gonna change their the, the direction of their their missile fire. So I'm like, come on guys, keep chasing my Cappadocians. And now we're targeting these Lancers here. Gonna get even more kills for Pontus. So when I go down, I go down fighting. <laughs> Did you see that? So yeah, we do take down some Lancers. I, I lose this unit of uh, Bronze Shield though. But I take out some Lancers. And these guys are doing a good job, but they can't hold off that many Royal Pikes. No way. Here's me taking down this guy's Lancers over here. Here's the Macedonian General. And there he dies. The measure of his soldier's courage. So yeah, remember it's score resolution. I'm still playing for kills here. Boom. And yeah, I believe his rural pikes are gonna get there in time. Actually, my guys just break. They're too tired to fight. Dun 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 dun. Let me fast forward just a little bit. So I still have some uh, some cav left, and I will use them to the utmost here. I'm gonna keep going for kills, my friends. He still has archers that I can take out. So I'm gonna go for his lancers first, and as predicted, he's going to avoid my fight with my Cappadocians. But that means his archers are open for, for business now. So I can charge in the archers, forcing his lancers to fight me anyways. So I take out those archers. And as the real pikes come in, I'm gonna stay long stay as long as I can to take out those lancers. And I do. And I can try to retreat. And I'm I'm gonna keep my guys here as long as I can because. As I said, I can't possibly beat this army anymore. Your general shames himself Here's my general. and your people. No excuses can be made for fleeing like this. So we're gonna go for more kills here. I believe these lancers are almost on their way back. There's one right there in the horizon. So I take out more archers, and I'm gonna go for even more archers here. But you can see these lancers are catching up. They were chasing down my routing units earlier. I take out these archers. Let me fast forward this a little bit. Here come his lancers. Let me try to take down some more archers before my Cappadocian spite it. Let's see here. How many do I get? I get a few. Before my Cappadocians break here. Yep, there they go. So I was trying to keep my infantry disengaged for as long as possible so that my, my cav could do as much damage as they could. But since that cav thing is over, I'm just going to send in my, my pikes here. And he's going to kill my guys. I'm going to have my archers shoot at his lancers a little bit. Try to get some last minute kills here. We're going to watch my, my phalanx get surrounded. And I took down some more Lancers back here. So that's pretty much it. All sorts of victory are now a hunger so for life at any we'll see who price. wins the battle. We'll see if this guy's strategy of of not fighting his natural fight, if it's successful or not. Fast forward. Let me see what my friend said. Look at my my guys, they're all scattered here. That's pretty funny. That's gonna make his job of chasing down my radians a little bit harder for him. Look at that guy walking backwards. He thinks he's so special, huh? 
lose more pikes. They're so confused by the uh, pathfinding now. They're like, wait, wait, who are we targeting here? Da da da. Archers are pretty good job, are pretty good units for taking down these kind of units that are broken up like that. So there is the, the border here. Let me see. Sorry, this is so much. There's so much footage here. I just want to fast forward through it. Here's my last unit that's hasn't left the field yet. He's gonna try for a while to take him out. This is when you play some Benny Hill music. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody want to take him out? I think that'll do it. Nope. Let's see. One for the hills! I don't see any hills! You'll be running for a long time, my friend! Run for what hills? Run for the hills! Run for it! Oh, he should have ran for the hills. Anyways, I still won the game. Because, yeah, those guys did not want to fight, and it shows in the uh, result screen. If you don't fight, you don't get kills. But anyways, good game to everybody in this battle. Uh, Zeno should probably learn how to play the play by the rules. I know it wasn't his fault. He, did, he didn't really speak English that well. So when I said CWB, I don't think he quite understood it. So you can't really hold him responsible for that. But he really should know what CWB is. I'm sure there's Italian players out there who know what it is. And they can explain it to him. Anyways, uh, good game to everybody. I'll see you guys later. Oh, and uh, happy Pontus Day again. Yay!